Greg Zanis was a staple in disaster relief. The Aurora man spent his retirement building thousands of wooden crosses for some 20 years. And now a new organization has taken over. And in what has been a deadly two years, they've distributed 800 crosses. Elizabeth Matthews has the story. The Crossman created 27,000 wooden crosses and scattered them about the United States. He built them here in his Aurora garage, one by one, sawing, sanding, and painting. He was passionate about what he did, and he just went out there and did it. After the police, EMS, and fire, Greg Zanis was a second responder, driving his pickup overnight to deliver the crosses. He was never asked, never invited, just knew in his heart he had to show up. Greg. I don't think he had any idea of how many lives he touched because he didn't stick around. I'm looking here and each one of these is a family member. Greg retired as the Crossman in 2019 and died from cancer five months later, but his mission continues. Greg left Crosses for Losses to Tim Hetzner and Lutheran Church Charities, and now they make it a part of their disaster relief response. Called Hearts for Mercy and Compassion, it comes with the group's comfort dogs that are so welcomed during disasters. LCC has expanded Greg's idea to include markers for those who aren't Christians, also hearts for anyone who wants one. It's the heart that we focus on, because that's what people can write on. While their headquarters are here in Northbrook, Lutheran Church Charities now has a network of more than a dozen churches that help spread their mission of mercy and compassion. And it was truly a heartfelt ministry, and that's, most people don't have that anymore. They think of only themselves. Pastor Dennis Bartles of Holy Cross Lutheran Church in North Miami helped get the crosses to the site of the Surfside condo collapse in Florida last summer. And that was the focus of the memorial wall, and it became the picture of every news agency worldwide. He says the crosses have proved to be personal, something for families to hold on to, cry with. He experienced that in Surfside. And I'm carrying a cross on my shoulder across the street, and all of a sudden I hear, hear a voice, there she is, there she is, there she is, and I'm looking around. Here they had lost a sister, and they could see, somehow they had an eagle eye and could see her name on that cross. Now the pastor's involvement is growing with the ministry. We're the hub for Florida now. And, and so if there's a disaster in Florida, they'll call us instead of trying to ship them across country. We already have 45 of them ready to go and we can have them there in a few couple hours. From one man in a garage to a nationwide effort of comforting those on their worst day, Greg's mission lives on. I think Greg would say, you're doing what I ask you to. Grow it, touch people, touch people, and don't charge. Elizabeth Matthews, Fox 32, Chicago. Quite a legacy. Greg paid for most of the crosses out of his pocket. You can help support his mission by donating to LutheranChurchCharities.org.